Dr. J. Kamala received her BE in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Madurai Kamaraj University in 1989, ME in VLSI Design from Bharat Dasan University in 2002, and PhD from Anna University in 2011. She is currently working as Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Anna University, Chennai. Her research interest includes VLSI design, solar power, controller design, and smart sensors. She has published several papers at national and international journals. Welcome to lec UGC lecture series on agricultural engineering. Today, we are going to see about applications of renewable energy in case of agricultural engineering. Energy is required for every action in the universe. And here we are having different types of energies and sources of energy. So, first we see about energy. Energy is required to get transferred from one state to another state. Types of energy or sources of energy if we see, first one is thermal energy. This thermal energy is due to the movement of atoms in the molecules and the fast movement of atoms lead to heat and it produces fire that is that energy is called thermal energy. And the next one is chemical energy. Inside the molecules we are having bonding between atoms. This bonding produces chemical energy. Chemical energy is present in all forms of substances available. For example, it is available in the food, it is available in the wood like it is existing in all the existing structures. Next one is nuclear energy. The atoms tend to fuse or fission. That is it can combine together or one atom can be split into different atoms. During this process it produces energy. That energy is called nuclear energy. Next one is natural gas. Here electrical energy can be used. Electrical energy is the basic for all electrical appliances. Movement of electron charge along the material form the electrical energy. Next one is electromagnetic radio waves have some energy. These waves introduce radiant energy. It is available in free space and it is available in different frequencies. That energy is called radiant energy. Next one is light energy. Light energy is one of the sources of ra radiant energy, but it is visible to our eye. That is light energy and it is in the form of photons and it produces energy or it has energy and it can be converted into useful energy that is called light energy. And next one is motion energy when a body or material is available in space. For example, a, a ball is held by a holder that ball will be having potential energy. When it is released that energy is converted into kinetic energy that is called motion energy due to motion of materials that energy is called stored in one place means it is potential energy. If it is released and moving means it is having kinetic energy. Next one is sound, sound waves it is also having some energy and these sound waves are produced by vibration of materials like diaphragm. So, this, this energy is generated by speaker. Next one is elastic energy, elastic materials like spring if it is compressed it is it stores energy. Once it is released and it will come back to the original position, when it is coming back to the original position it releases the energy. That energy is called elastic energy. Gravitational energy, gravitational energy is due to the gravity like a fruit falling from a tree. When the fruit is in the tree 
it is it stores the energy due to gravitational force fruit fell from the tree that energy released during the falling time is called gravitational energy so energy cannot be created not destroyed it can be converted from one form to another form and the major main form uh, form of energy we are using is the electrical energy electrical energy can be derived by many types for example from a wind mill the mechanical motion is converted into electrical energy or from a solar panel the light energy is converted into electrical energy or from a coal by burning a coal the chemical energy stored in the coal is converted into electrical energy once we have electrical energy it can be used to for many applications for example the electrical energy is converted into chemical energy and it is stored in the battery the battery charge can be used to charge a electric vehicle so it can be converted into mechanical energy so electrical energy converted into chemical energy and again it is converted into mechanical energy another application if we see electrical energy is converted into heat energy if we take a bread toaster the electrical energy is converted into heat that heat is used to toast the bread the bread is having chemical energy this chemical energy if it is consumed by us it can be used to perform many mechanical actions like running swimming walking like that to do some work so in the top application electrical energy is converted into heat energy heat energy is used to provide chemical energy and chemical energy is provided to converted into mechanical energy so the energy is transferred from one state to another state so that it can be used effectively and transformation of energy in different levels is an important one next we see what are the sources of energy where we can get we need electricity from where we can get the electricity so what are the various sources if we saw the see the energy sources it can be of two types energy is classified into two types one is conventional and non conventional here the classification is based on traditional method of converting energy for example if we use coal wood and other traditional whatever materials we are having already if we use those materials to get the energy then it is conventional energy sources that is traditional way of using materials to get energy and another one is non conventional we are developing new methods to create the or to generate the energy that is the non conventional energy for example the solar panels using wind if we generate power or using nuclear or natural gas these are the new methods of generating power is in the non conventional method they are new methods this is first classification another classification of energy sources is based on the availability of sources how much sources are available for us to produce the energy there are two methods one is renewable energy source and another one is non renewable energy source renewable energy source means that energy source we will be getting continuously non renewable energy source means we don't get it continuously and it is of limited use if we see the renewable energy we are having totally five types for example if we take solar the radiation from the solar is continuously we are getting throughout the year in most of the areas that is the solar energy similarly wind 
the force of wind, the flow of breeze and its force and its cap capacity of moving objects that is that can be used to generate electricity that is wind energy. It is also available in nature and it is available continuously everywhere. So, it is also used for producing electricity. Next one is hydro power energy. Hydro refers to water. The force of moving water can be converted into useful energy and this water is available everywhere and we can use it to derive energy. This is called hydro energy. Next one is biomass. Here the whatever rotten materials we are having are waste, organic waste materials we are having that can be used to derive energy because waste is produced everywhere and managing the waste is very a difficult challenge to the world. So, if we get energy from biomass it is also useful. And the next one is geothermal, here inside earth the energy, the heat magma or heat materials available inside the earth, it can be used to produce the energy. So, these are the 5 sources of renewable energy, solar, wind, hydro, biomass and geothermal. And another classification is non-renewable. Here non-renewable refers to materials which are limited in nature. It would not last longer or for a infinite period. For example, oil. Oil inside the earth is very less and it is not available everywhere. It is available only in few places. So, it is non-renewable energy. We do not get it continuously for uh, thousands of years. Only for limited years or lifetime we get this energy. So, oil is non-renewable energy. Similarly, coal. It is also not available and it will be over. Once we get energy from that material, afterwards we cannot get back it. That is the non-renewable energy, coal and another one is nuclear and the next one is natural gas. These are the non-renewable energy sources. Renewable energy sources are generated or available in nature and we get continuously. Non-renewable refers to the sources which are limited and it is available in limited places only. That is the non-renewable energy sources. Next one is we see first solar energy. It is derived from the sun inside. So, this energy is created from the sun. Inside the sun, we are having lot of fusion type reactions which radiates energy in the form of heat and light. So, from energy is available in the form of both heat and light and it is easy to generate because sun radiation is available in most of the places we can easily use this solar energy to generate electricity and it is it won't create any noise no noise is created so it is silent in nature noise pollution is eliminated in this energy source next one is it is non pollution no co2 emission or green gas house effects are av not available in this energy. So, it is not having any pollution. And next one is renewable. By using solar energy, the, this energy will not end or it will not be over. We continuously get sun's radiation and we can use this radiation to derive energy. And it is most abundant. In most of the areas of the earth, we receive this sun radiation. So, it is abundant in nature. It is also long life. Whatever cells we are using to derive electricity from the sun, it is having longer life period. So, economy is high for this solar energy. 
it is also have some having some disadvantages they are higher installation cost initially when you are installing solar panels to generate electricity the installation cost is higher and it occupies more area we need large area to install the solar panels and partial shading effects will be there if we install solar panels in larger areas passing clouds or birds or a shadow of tree that will create shading effect on the panel that is it doesn't allow light to pass through the channel and it creates or it reduces the output it creates disturbance in the output output is reduced it is a drawback and it is intermittent if the season or weather climate of the country is sunny it is advantage if it if the country is having long range of cool climates then we don't get this solar energy it is intermittent and the output of the solar energy is also not continuous and it is not regulated and it is also intermittent in nature and the next one is it is weather dependent if it is cloudy rainy days we don't get this energy only during sunny days we get output from this one and the temperature also affects the solar panel output if the temperature increases the output is reduced so these are the drawbacks of solar energy and next if you see next one is wind energy it is derived from the so force of moving wind so we are using wind turbines to generate the electricity here a wind turbine means a fan will be there it is connected with a low speed shaft and then to a high speed shaft through gear then the mechanical movement is converted into a current through generator so it is having fan low speed shaft high speed shaft gear and generator unit to generate the electricity this wind energy is not emitting carbon dioxide so it is not having any pollution no emissions are there compared to solar power it is having or producing high output and the cost due for the generation of electricity is affordable it is not very costly and the disadvantages if you see the output is proportional to the wind speed so if the weather has high wind speed we will be getting high output if the wind speed is less or if it is not breezy we don't get output so output is proportional to wind speed and it is seasonal and during according to the season only we get higher speed wind or low so according to the season only we will get output it is not that we get the output during all the seasons initial cost of installation is very high it is not affordable initial installation cost is very high and it is also using large area of land and the movement of blades or fan produces lot of sound and it is noisy and another one is it needs maintenance it requires some cost for the maintenance and it possess environmental impacts such that it is harmful to birds and wildlife these are the basics of wind energy next one is hydropower the power derived from the water the force of moving water we can get here also we can use turbine like structure to get the electricity if we see the advantages it provides higher power output and the output is regulated because we will be allowing the water to flow at a constant rate 
So, it we get regulated output and it also meets the demand. These are the advantages of hydropower that is power derived from the water. The disadvantages if we see we construct a dam to generate electricity from the water. So, the environment near the dam structure will be changed that is the problem and affected by draft only if we get rain and if it is stored in a dam and by allowing the water to flow high from the dam we get output. If rain is not there and if the weather is draft we do not we don't have water to get to store in the dam and we do not get electricity also and it is highly expensive to build these are the disadvantages of hydropower. Next one is biomass these are the waste we are producing in the day to day life after cooking or after remaining of whatever available that we can use to generate the power trees, plant, crop and animal waste they are used to generate the power. Here the products we can get by this one is biogas, methane, ethanol, biodiesel and electricity. These are the different forms of energy we can get through biomass and next one is relatively high output we get more output compared to other sources affordable and it is not that much costly according to our requirement and our financial requirement we can build different sources of energy. The problem with this biomass is first one is air pollution it emits gases and it leads to air pollution and another one is it is complete with compete with food food wastage only leads to the production of biomass so if we have food wastage we will get more biomass so there will be there should be a compromise between the biomass energy and food it competes with the food and it takes lot of energy to produce these byproducts it takes lot of energy and next one is geothermal geothermal it uses the heat within the earth inside deep inside the earth we will be having magma like hot materials inside make the hot magma or hot water inside the earth to take to the surface and we can get electricity heat or hot water these are the three products we can get from the geothermal energy it is not having much pollution it the pollution level is less compared to other polluting energy sources maintenance cost is also less and it is efficient if we see the disadvantages we have to design three wells one is exploratory wells and another one is production well and another one is injection well we have to dig three wells exploratory well is used to bring the hot water to out as a surface of the earth production well is used to get energy from the hot water then injection well is used to send the hot water again to the earth these three wells we will be using it may get depleted that is the first drawback and high cost installation in the initial stage starting stage we have to invest more to install the geothermal energy station and it is not available everywhere it is available only in few areas it is limited in nature this is geothermal energy so we have seen all the five types of renewable energy sources now we will see the coal the non renewable energy source by burning coal coal we get energy that is a energy from the coal that is prehistoric plants and animals are buried inside the earth and it forms a peat and it become coal 
and in coal also we are having different types according to the type of the coal we get energy from the coal. And if you see the advantages it is abundant and relatively cheap. Abundant means only in few countries it is available in abundant cost required to generate energy from this one is cheap compared to other things. If you see the disadvantages it is polluting the earth in all the levels. The coal is to be taken in from inside the earth. So, we have to do mining it pollutes the inside earth that is soil and water inside the earth everything is polluted. When we are doing or going for mining the earth the workers are exposed to toxic gases and their health gets spoiled. While producing electricity by burning coal it emits toxic gas and that gas affects the atmospheric environment. So, water, soil and uh, air, air all are polluted by this energy formation. So, it is better to avoid this source because lot of green gas house effects are contributed by coal. So, we have to eliminate this energy source and use other types of non polluting energy sources. And the next one is oil, it is also available inside the earth. Similar to coal, it is also the remains of prehistoric plant and animals buried inside the earth near the river levels or sea then we get oil in this in the region. If we see the advantages it is an efficient transportation fuel petrol and diesel we use for transportation purpose. And the next one is easy to transport it can be transferred from one region to another region easily and it is economy it is not that much costly we can afford it and we can use, but it is limited in nature. And another one is it is this oil is the basis for many products and the disadvantages if we see it emits CO2 both coal and oil produces carbon dioxide and it emits it creates pollution and it is limited available and available in limited area. The, so, there is a possibility of environmental impacts. Natural gas is another source of energy, it is a byproduct from the oil and it is a valuable resource. It is widely available used with other fuel to generate electricity, cleanest burning of fossil fuel and it is safe by adding artificial adders. And the disadvantages if you see the cost of transportation is high, it is of low efficiency and it has a environmental impact and a lack of infrastructure. So, these are next one is nuclear it is by fusion and fission process it is dangerous and we get hi higher risk for higher power and it is time to build is also very large these are the disadvantages and advantages if you see it produces high power and efficient. So, this is the total primary energy supply up to 2016 with this we complete the session on renewable energy sources we have seen the different so what is energy types of energy classification of energy renewable and non renewable energy sources and its advantages and disadvantages thank you.